Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, this is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic. Uh, this is going to be the first video in a series of videos uh, focused particularly on MailChimp uh, from everything uh, from setting up your account to how to set up lists and audiences to getting your blog subscribers in to sending email campaigns, a whole variety of tips and trips, tricks and setup uh, within MailChimp. So this first video is just going to focus on how you get set up with an account and what the important components are within an account. Uh, so you go to MailChimp.com, you'll land on their new homepage with the redesign, and you'll click Login. Uh, I already have an account which I'll recommend, but I'll create a new one for the sake of this video. So I'll go ahead and click Create an Account, and I'll do uh, a made-up email here. Fun fact for everyone who doesn't know, you can always reuse your email address uh, if you already have an account by just adding a plus and then something after it, it'll still send the email to your actual email address, um, but it will in fact treat it as a unique one. Uh, so I use LastPass to generate passwords, so I will let it securely generate a new password for me, and I will get started. So now it'll ask me to check my email, in which case I should be able to come in here, get that, MailChimp verification and I'll activate that account. Say I'm not a robot. And now from here to let you elect what plan you want. Uh, if you're just getting started, there's no reason to go to a paid plan. Uh, they have a pretty robust free plan with a 2000 contact minimum and a certain email threshold. Uh, so usually to get started until you need features that either aren't included or you max out of the email or contact deliverability, just stick with the free plan. Uh, you won't have to do any billing, so I'll just click that and continue. And then you add your personal information. Add your business details. So my name of my company, my website, if you don't have one, you can click no here. Go ahead and continue. Uh, billing address, it won't let me skip this. Um, so for now, I'll just enter it. Uh, if you have a list of email subscribers, uh, you could go through this process right now of working through and adding them, um, but I'll show that in a later video. Um, so I'm just gonna bypass this for now. Uh, and I could also connect social, but again, I'll show that in a later video. Uh, this is just purely the registration and setup, so I'll go ahead and skip that. Um, and I'll say not right now, I don't want to do their, their walkthrough. Uh, and subscribe to what's in store. I don't really care so much about getting notifications from them. I'm on here pretty regularly, but if you want to get you know, a bi-weekly email telling you what's new and all that stuff, you can click here. I'm gonna bypass that because I'm not super interested. So once you're in here, you'll have your uh, homepage, you'll have your various menu items across the top and then you know the recommended setup steps. Uh, we'll go through these one by one in, very, in different videos, so we'll bypass this for now. Uh, as I recommend you do, very rarely do you wanna just set up an email from the first moment that, that you sign in, you still have to get the rest of your account details set up. Um, so we'll go through each one of these tabs and what they do in later videos. But for now, I'm gonna walk through the account management tabs, which are here. So the first thing you wanna do is go to profile and make sure that all of your information is correct. Uh, which it appears that it is. If you ever need to change your password, this is where you'll do that. Um, and you can upload a photo for yourself. I'm not going to do this because I already have an account set up, but you just click upload and grab a 300 by 300 pixel photo. And then you click save uh, and update. And then that's how you would change your profile. Uh, the other uh, important tab here is the account settings. This is where you can see what plan you're on, how much contact usage you've had. So here's the 2000 threshold for the free, free plan. And this is how many I have, which is one, which is just me and zero email sends. Uh, so within a month's period, I have 10,000 email sends while still remaining on the free plan before I have to level up to a paid plan. And if you're ever having like integration or, or account issues, they'll pop up here. Within the settings, you can just run quickly through these. 
uh, details where you set your account name, your time zone, which is important for things like sending time and all of that, date and time format, currency. If you're an agency, you can check this and it gives you additional um, features essentially. And then you can become part of their uh, data sets, like they can use your data to improve their statistics similar to what Google AdWords and Google Analytics does anonymously. Uh, so you can check that. And then this is where you set up your email notifications based on what information that you want your account to send you. So this is unique to everybody depending on what you want. Um, I don't actually want any of this. So I'm gonna click save again because I'm just in here enough that I know about these things. Um, but that's a person by person basis. Uh, users is just exactly what you would think. If you want to add additional users to your account, you can come in here, invite them, and give them their various permission sets. Uh, security, if you want to set up two-factor authentication, authentication, uh, you come in here, you set up your phone number uh, for two-factor, so that way you have an additional level of security for your account, um, which I do on my permanent account, but since this is just a test account that I won't actually be using beyond these videos, I won't do that here. Uh, within here is where you can just make sure that all of your account information is right. This is like an additional confirmation like it was on the profile page, only it like lists out a little bit more information. You won't really have to come in here all that often. This is a very important tab, which I'll go into in detail on another one, which is how you can set up your own customized sending domain. Um, it, I have plusherpublic.com. I want my emails coming from plusherpublic.com, uh, so I have to set up and verify uh, my domain as a sending domain, which I'll show you in an ancillary video. This is a very important piece of the settings here. Um, managing your data, you can have a backup for whatever reason. If you're looking to move off the service, if you just want it backed up uh, every once in a while, uh, you can get that information from this tab. Again, something that you probably don't use that often. And pause or delete your account. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, billing, if you came in here, this is where you could adjust your plan to upgrade to pay as you go, to upgrade to a different tier, which you saw in the beginning. Uh, and if you want to like tack on social profiles, just paid accounts only, you can set that stuff up often within here. Uh, this is the tab where you would actually add a payment method, so a credit card uh, on file. And then your billing history, if you are on a paid plan, would fall within here. Uh, this section, rewards, is similar to an affiliate program, uh, only they don't pay you cash for onboarding your users. So if you sign people up, they'll give you rewards against your account in the forms of uh, MailChimp credits. Uh, this will be important in later sections, the API keys. So if I want to access uh, various different vendors, like say Zapier or my own application, uh, you'll need to generate an API that you can use uh, to send information between the systems. Um, so that's what you would use this for, and we will use this in some later um, examples. And then this is a list of all of the registered apps. Um, so you can connect a whole bunch of various things like Squarespace and Facebook and a variety of others that would be included in here. And then integrations on this tab is where I can actually set those up. So if I want to link Facebook, Twitter, SurveyMonkey, all of these things, I can do that here. Um, and you can also access those within this connected sites menu. You can see you know, all of your various options. So once you run through those tabs uh, and you've set up all that information, your account will be set up. And then we're ready to dive into uh, the various ways to set up campaigns, to set up lists, templates, emails. Uh, you name it, there's a whole bunch left that we're going to run through. Uh, so I'll just continue on the series. And by the end of this, you'll be able to not only you know, send great email campaigns, but add campaigns and a variety of other things using the MailChimp platform. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.